He says, what's the ruling on reading Yasin after Fajr? Unfortunately, a lot of the practices in the subcontinent are not according to the Sunnah or based on either fabricated hadiths from Fada'il al-A'mal or from um, weak hadiths. And this is widely spread in the subcontinent and also in some countries of Arabia. Surah Yasin is a great chapter of the Quran, but has no authentic um, uh, thing in its regard that requires us to recite. Nothing special about it that we should recite it. Some scholars say that it is recommended to recite it when someone is on his dying bed. He's just about to die. We recite it because there is a lot of mentioning of paradise and what Allah has reserved for the righteous and the believers uh, uh, of blessings and favors in, in there. But there is not, nothing authentic. Some people consider this to be a habit that every Fajr we must re, uh, recite Yasin. Every day we must recite Al Waqi'ah. And they say that Surah Al Waqi'ah, whoever recites it, would not be poor. And this is totally not true. And we know not thousands or hundreds, we know millions of Muslims who recite it every single day and they are beyond the lines of poverty. So it is not realistic nor logical to believe and follow and say and do things unless it's authentic. And this is why, this is what our da'wah stands on. Quran, authentic sunnah, with the understanding of the favorite three generations of tabi'een, tabi of the companions of tabi'een and tabi'at tabi'een. We are the best with this methodology because you can't go wrong. No one can say that, oh, yeah, what Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali did was wrong. A'udhu Billah. What the, the, the tabi'een the tabi did and they all agreed upon, yeah, I think now is, 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 is better than before. This is all bogus. I 